Oh my gosh, first dive down. Got an apple one. Hey, what's up guys, Jake here. Today I'm at a place called Chimney Rock located in Lake Martin. Today we're gonna be trying out a brand new underwater drone not released to the public yet. This is called the Titan and it can actually dive up to almost 500 feet deep. And today we're gonna be dropping this into the water here. I've been told that this spot is over 100 feet deep and we're gonna be using this as a treasure hunting tool to be able to spot things underneath the water. So this underwater drone has a 4K camera built into it and you can actually see in real time what it sees underneath the water. You can use your phone or you can use a pad like me, but it has a controller as well. And uh, it's like a, the ultimate video game, man. Drop this overboard and you just cruise around underneath the water, see what it sees. I've never flown a drone before and I've actually never flown an underwater drone, but hopefully uh, I don't crash this thing, man. I have to give it back. This drone also has a few lights built into it right here. These are 3000 lumens. And the cool thing about this is like if you want to record at night, you can record at night or if the water's a little murky, turn these things on and the footage it will capture will be a little bit clearer. So this is going to be freaking crazy, man. I'm so excited to throw this out in the water, see if I can see some cool stuff and then uh, we'll get down there with my scuba gear and see if I can retrieve it. I'm trusting them, man. They said I could do this. One, two, three. Oh my God. Oh, look at all the fish. Oh, <laughs> That's so, so fish. cool. Oh. Wow. All right, so, oh, oh, big fish went by. All right, so we reached the bottom here. The water's not the clearest, it's a little green, but, oh look, another fish. <laughs> That's so cool. It's connected to this box, so when you go forward, it actually moves it out for you, which is awesome. So, I can just keep going down here. All right, that's my first little bit of treasure. I think I see a can. I think a beer bottle maybe. I'm not too sure, it's hard to tell. You know what they need to add to this drone? A claw, so they can like go down and like grab stuff and bring it to the surface. That would be a game changer, man. If you don't like swimming or if you're kind of scared of going deep or you know, maybe um, you just don't want to go in the water for some reason, now you could just drop this overboard and you can explore all underneath the water, man. Like this is so cool. So when you're done exploring underneath the water, all you have to do is just reel in the drone right here. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually pick it up. I'm, I'm on the edge of a cliff. Now I know that there's a couple, uh, some beer bottles down there, a lot of fish and a big catfish. And uh, I'm just gonna suit up, dive down, see if I can pick up some trash and uh, hopefully we can find a few nice things. This is gonna be tricky. I'm on the edge of a cliff. There we go. Much easier. <laughs> I have my friend flying the drone right now. Got the lights on it. Look at that, that's so cool. But uh, yeah, he's out here looking for stuff. I'm looking for stuff. Let's see if we can find some good things right now. It's so quiet down here. Very, very creepy, man. I have never dove in this lake before. I don't know what to expect, but from the drone, it looked really cool. Oh my gosh, first dive down. Got an apple one. What's this? It's like a beer bottle. I can't believe I just got an apple one still. That's so cool, first dive down. A lot of beer bottles, a lot of people party here. I'm gonna try to grab some on my way. I'm gonna take this up to the surface, but I can't believe I got an Apple Watch on the first time now, man. Woo! Get the beer bottles I found right here. We'll come back for these later. I got an Apple Watch! Woo! Oh, it's still working! I cannot believe this, man. First dive down and I found this Apple Watch and it still works. Look at this. It says 1457. How lucky can I get, man? That is unreal. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna get back down there and see if we can find something good, man. Hello. Is anything down here? This is scary, man. Oh, this scared the crap out of me. We have reached the bottom. This is one small step for Scuba Jake. One giant leap for River Treasure Hunting. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so scary for real. It's getting really, really murky over here. I can't see nothing. Literally can't see. I think that's the edge of a cliff. I'm not doing that. Nope. Heck no, man. Too scary. Jacob has limits. And I'm out of here. 
It is freezing cold. A lot of beer bottles. Look at them all right here. They're gonna come back with a trash bag for sure. So I got my trash bag. I'm gonna start picking up trash when I see it. But we're looking for something good, man. Still have my eyes out for maybe an iPhone or something. I guarantee there's one in here. Got some old beer bottles right here. Plastic bottle. There's another beer bottle right here. There's so much. This is so bad. Oh, look at catfish. Oh! That's so cool. I saw one on the drone. I think it's just a little fish. Hey, my dad. Wow, look at that fish right here. That is so cool. So beautiful, man. Something touched my butt, I think. It may have been my air, but whatever it was, it was scary. Oh! No way! Got some sunglasses! <laughs> That's so cool. I don't know what brand these are, but man. What's this? Looks like maybe some underwear or something, like an underwear strap. <laughs> Got the drone following me right now. He's filming me. That's pretty cool. Look at this thing. It's a UFO. <laughs> He's filming a fish. <laughs> wow, man. That thing is so cool. Oh, I got a little clam. I'm going to leave it right here. So we can survive and thrive. There's a nickel little ultra bottle. Another bottle right here. Oh, this is an old one. Look at that. There's so much trash, it's impossible to get it all today, man. This is about two minutes worth of picking up trash. I'll pick up these last two right here. So the first pair of sunglasses I found, I was actually able to give back to a guy. He told me he lost it off of uh, this rock right here. This guy asked me, he's like, hey, scuba dude, can you come over here and help me find my sunglasses? And I went over there, dove down, and actually found them, which is crazy, man. I'll try. Right, what kind of glasses? Uh, they're black. They're my real glasses. Right. I'll try my very best. Right. So I'm looking for that man's sunglasses right now. I don't know if I'm going to find them. Oh, I just saw a fish. Oh, I think these are it right here. No way! That's awesome! What's this? Oh, maybe like a bandana? Alright, I'm gonna go back up and give him uh, his sunglasses to him. What's this? Oh, it's a bottom cap. I thought that was a ring. It's a trash. I'll go ahead and pick that up as well. Start making our way back up. If you guys want to check out this underwater drone a little bit more on the internet, I'm going to have a link in the description below. You guys can click that. You'll be directed to their website and you can learn a little bit more about this underwater drone called Titan. So it's been a couple days since I found this Apple Watch and I'm super excited because when I charged it, it actually had this setting right here that said uh, a medical ID and it actually has his name, his contact information, his fiance and mom. And today we're going to be calling uh, the guy's name Sonny. Dude, I have all this information. His age, he's 29 years old, born in 1988. He's 181 pounds. Like, yeah, this, this is, is cool. This is strange. A little strange. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they did that stuff, man. But Sonny, I'm about to give you a call. I'm actually about to call his fiance. He doesn't have his phone number on here. He has his fiance's and his mom's number. I'm going to tell him that I actually found his, uh, his Apple Watch and that we're going to give it back to him. So let me go ahead and call his fiance right now. All right, so I'm calling the, uh, the fiance right now. Your call has been forwarded, forwarded to an me. automated voice <laughs> messaging voice system. Man. No, I'm gonna, call, uh, I'm gonna call his mom. The moms will always answer. Four, seven, eight. <laughs> the mom didn't answer, the fiance didn't answer. Uh, you gotta leave a I, voicemail, man. I, I guess I'll leave a voicemail, or take it what it is, I got a new watch. <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> no. I'm gonna call one more time. I'm gonna leave a voicemail. So, I have 
I've lost a watch recently. Uh-huh. <laughs> I received a call from uh-huh. you know, my wife. She's my wife now, but my wife's got a call from me. Hey, I want to let you know, your wife forwarded me twice, and your mom forwarded me twice, too, man. <laughs> You're at a baseball game, okay? <laughs> uh, I even joked about it. I was like, I wonder if a fish is going to find it. And a fish? And be like, hey, man, I got your phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, a, a fish did find it, man. Savannah, Georgia. So yeah, what I like could do... Five hours. Yeah, that's a little bit ways away. I live in Columbus, Georgia, so what I could do is I could just mail the watch to you if you want to. I would definitely appreciate that. Thank you again so much. Uh, no worries, man. I hope you have a great day and make sure you uh, maybe you have like a tether on your watch next time or something. <laughs> <laughs>